Welcome, Annie Collins here from Buddhist Monroe. Today I'm going to create this fall wreath card. Let's go to the products I use. I use our new autumn branches stencil. This is has a beautiful branch wreath and a swag on the bottom. When you use our fall floral stamp set, this is 44 pieces, you have several large florals, some medium florals, and an abundance of leaves that you can think of. You have an acorn and that little thing that looks like a walnut or who knows what it is really. All right, so then you have some wonderful sentiments like uh, happiness blooms from within, which we'll be using. Don't stop releasing, smile, and more. We're going to use our stick and stamp mat with our stencil with some candy coat in yellow, pink, and purple. A little, a few drops of aqua pigment in brown. So I mix the aqua pigment in brown with the yellow, and then I mix it to create this goldeny brown color and then I mix the trio of pink purple and yellow to get this orangey brownie color we're going to use that with our wreath stencil I know the colors look a little weird but trust me they work I have some cream cardstock this is about 85 pounds I have 80 pound maroon cardstock and a card base from made from not your mama's cardstock which is nice and heavyweight for our leaves and blooms that we're going to stamp, I'm going to use these leftover panels that I have created from other projects. These have all been sprayed with um, chroma mist or aqua pigment, a, a variety of colors, except for this blue one. That one has candy coat in blue. These are all from other projects, and I always save my scraps for these kind of quick and easy projects. So let's get started. First, we're going to take our cream cardstock and our stencil. We have our palette knife here to work with, and I'm going to remove the covering off my uh, stick and stamp mat, and I'm going to place my uh, cream cardstock down onto it. That'll be stuck onto our mat, and I want to say quickly, if you hear some pounding in the background, we had uh, to have some pipes burst in my house, so we're having them fixed. I'm sorry for the noise. I'm doing my best to avoid as much noise. All right, so we have our stencil down. I have going to put you some post-it here, uh, some post-it tape to cover up the little pieces of the swag branches that are on the bottom. Again, we're going to use our the, the branch wreath that's on the top. So we're going to start with our yellow and yellow candy coat mixed with the aqua pigment right on the bottom, and I'm just going to push this through. Now, if you're not familiar with our candy coat, it it's like our chroma glaze but it has a lot of beautiful glitters and, and chunky glitters in it. So it's going to have a lot of texture when this, when this dries. So then I mix the more orangey brown towards the top and then I blend them all together. I remove the excess as quickly as I can, making sure all of our little branches are filled in. And then I have my fingers crossed, I'm peeling it up because since it's so chunky, I don't want to mess up my wreath. So here's the wreath. As you can see, it goes from a lighter brown to a darker brown. Towards the darker brown is where I'm going to put most of our cluster of leaves and flowers. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I stamped my flowers while we let our branch dry. Our wreath dry, I should say. All right, so I have another stick and stamp mat and I keep that one solely for stamping and I keep it in my stamping tool here on my stamping platform. And I'm going to show you, I just take the little pieces that I have and I'm going to use the stick and stamp mat to hold it. So none of the magnets are in my way. The magnets only holding the stick and stamp mat to the misty platform. I'm going to place my image here. I'm going to find how the best I want it. I want most of that reddish color towards the bottom and then it go lighter so I'm gonna push it down I'm gonna take my Raven detail ink ink up my image and then I'll just stamp it and then I can fussy cut it now I'm fussy cutting because I don't have the dies for this set there is a coordinating die set available for purchase um, I, I mean, yes I'm on the design team but I didn't receive these because we get these ahead of time 
So now I have my wreaths all dry inside. You can see all that beautiful shine from the glitter and all the little fun chunkies. I trimmed this in panel down just a smidgen so that it would have a nice little maroon mat. I stamped our sentiment, which reads, Happiness Blooms From Within, on a piece of that same uh, misted paper leftover cardstock. And there are all our, our, there's our blooms and all of our leaves and such. All right, so let's put our project together. I'm going to use some barely art glue to adhere our branch panel to the maroon cardstock. And I try to stick with darker jewel tone kind of colors for our images, but not so, so dark so that you can read what they were. Okay, so, well, not read, but see, you know what I mean. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and adhere th this panel to our card base using, again, barely art glue. I'm going to use mostly barely art glue, except for a few pieces will have foam adhesive behind it. Once I have that adhered, we're going to create our cluster on the bottom. I'm going to use our large focal image in the center, and then I'll keep adhering um, the leaves from there. Our larger focal floral image is on foam tape. So I have that sticking up, get it where I want it, and then I'm going to just start adding the leaves, just tucking them behind there, going up our wreath. I'm just going to continue doing this until we have it as filled as I, we would like, and I want it like about halfway up, and then our sentiment will go across. So we're going to just go ahead and move that. Now the little acorns, you'll see I will have those raised up on foam adhesive. I'm just going to continue going and filling every part of this little wreath. Well, not every part of it, the bottom portion of it. And that, the, once we have that all set, we will add our sentiment. So keeping these little um, pieces of scrap, I would consider scrap, left over from other projects, make this go really quickly. So all I did was, for different projects, I missed chroma mist or aqua pigments, I brushed it on, or I used any leftover from a project with is our glitter glaze or candy coat or any of our or chroma glaze and I save them if I have little pieces for things like this for cutting little um, pieces out or for one project a couple uh, I think it was last month I used I created using the basket stencil and I was able to uh, save the pieces and use it several times on a different on different cards so do that, save your pieces, especially with our beautiful products such as Chroma Glaze, Aqua Pigment, the Glitter Glaze, um, Chroma Mist, all of these projects, especially the Candy Coat, which has lots of beautiful glitter, they, they give you such great panels, so use them to your advantage. So here I'm going to trim off that little tip of our um, acorn because it was getting hard for me to tuck it where I need it to be. And I'm just going to put some foam adhesive behind that little acorns. And I'll tuck those into our cluster here. And we're just about done. Once I place this last little um, acorn, we'll be done. I have two leftover leaves, and I'll just save those for another project. Oh, do I end up? Yeah, no, I end up saving those for another project. I thought for a moment there, I did stick them in there. <laughs> okay, I do save those. That's okay, because we have plenty of fall projects to create. So our sentiment, I have raised up on a foam adhesive and I'm going to place that right across here and then I will bring in some fun jeweled flat gems oh my goodness some flat gems in here and then I'm going to place them throughout our wreath and uh, by our sentiment just adding them just here and there and I do that just putting little dots all around where I want them with the barely art glue and then I'll just attach our little gems using my gem wand here. Once I get those all done, our card will be complete. And believe it or not, this is sped up so you can see how slow I actually create 
my cards. Um, sometimes I do really quick and sometimes not so much. So all of this, the stencil, the uh, full floral stamp set are all part of the inspiration box for this month. So if you haven't subscribed, you should. There's some beautiful things. This is just a little sample of what you get in the uh, inspiration box. So here's our card all complete. We have plenty of fun dimension as you can see. Not so much that you can't mail it but beautiful layers and dimension. So today we use our stick and stamp mat, our fall florals, and our autumn branches stencil. And we used candy coat, well, Raven Detail ink first. And <laughs> we used candy coat in yellow, pink, and purple. A few drops of aqua pigment to mix our with our yellow candy coat to create our darker brown branches. You still see them peeking out and a variety of leftover scraps with, a, like a, like I said, a variety of chroma glaze, uh, not chroma glaze, chroma mist, aqua pigment that are splattered on there, and a little bit of glitter glaze and a little bit of um, candy coat. So I would like to thank you all for being here. I hope you found some inspiration. I know I rattled off a bunch of things. I'll have everything listed in the description box below for you. Thank you, and I have a great day. Thank you.